reports of a campaign pass within Halo Infinite, but I have information that says otherwise, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Now we've had some considerable amount of time to actually dive into the recent blog update from 343 about the Inside Infinite update for Halo Waypoint, and it had a really a lot of great information, a lot of interesting little details right there. But one thing that caught some people's eye on the internet, especially some reporters, was the fact that there was a phrase called campaign pass within Halo Infinite screenshots. And so I wanted to break that down for you guys and kind of point out that you don't need to believe everything you see within these posts. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So the website Screen Rant recently put up an article saying that there's a Halo Infinite campaign pass and it was actually showcased within the recent Inside Infinite development update. Talking about this image in particular, which was really meant to just kind of showcase how you can showcase the season pass and battle pass progression of Halo Infinite, through multiple platforms, but there's one bit of dialogue that's written on the right screen of this image that says this. Acquired on December 31st, 2021, obviously a placeholder date, by completing Chief's story in the For Our Tomorrow campaign pass. Obviously your first reaction is, wait a minute, a campaign pass? I thought they were just talking about a battle pass that you were expecting to see for the free to play multiplayer. The campaign side of things for Halo Infinite is a paid premium experience. So why are you throwing on a battle pass like system on top of the campaign? Well, it made myself and many others who first read this rather concerned that it looks like they're trying to also add some microtransactions on top of the premium paid experience, which in my eyes for Halo Infinite's business model doesn't really seem to fit quite right. Like why would you throw a multiplayer battle pass system which already has two tiers, a free and a premium version, and then also have a separate campaign pass as well. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Like, are there gonna be specific unlocks for the campaign itself within its own battle pass kind of system? To me, that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense as Halo Infinite, I feel like it's trying to be the most inclusive experience possible for Halo. So I'm expecting to see not just beyond like multiplayer XP gains to go towards your battle pass, but I'm expecting to see like custom game experience and also multiplayer experience going towards your battle pass system for your upgrades and your unlocks. And so to have two separate systems within Halo Infinite doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like yes, there are people out there who play only the campaign, don't really touch the multiplayer at all. And I'm sure you probably wanna to try to monetize those players in some capacity. That would also make sense. But you already monetize th those players by having them buy the campaign. And how would that actually work out with a campaign pass versus an actual battle pass for multiplayer side of things? Because we do know that the multiplayer will feature some kind of non-lore like customization within a season for the multiplayer. For example, the Yoroi Samurai armor that we're going to get for Halo Infinite for the first event of season one for Halo Infinite is going to be separate from the battle pass itself. And they did state in the previous development update that they'll use these kind of fractures or these events to kind of bring in less lore based armor sets and customization to kind of have some more fun with the whole thing and how your battle pass is gonna be strictly like within canon lore style armor set. So nothing too crazy, nothing too outlandish. Like you're not gonna be running around looking like some anime crazy character because you grind into level 100 within the battle pass. That's not gonna be the case. Now we could possibly see that with these fractures for the special event kind of armor sets as they did state that they're willing to, you know, go a little bit beyond the canonized armor style to have some fun with the customization and maybe incentivize players to grind more out of the game because let's be honest that samurai armor does look really freaking awesome it's basically hayabusa 2.0 and everyone loved hayabusa back in halo 3. so was screen rant right about writing an article about this topic and feeling like they knew enough information to kind of spread this word that there is a campaign pass within halo infinite well i have some contradictory information from the source themselves 343. A Twitter user by the name of Scout pointed this exact thing out, asking if there is a campaign pass separate from the actual battle pass that was mentioned in the multiplayer overview for Halo Infinite. And the community manager, Unishek, actually replied to him saying, hey Scout, I just checked with the team and they confirmed that this is indeed placeholder text, no need to read into it. 
So that way, guys, we have confirmed there is no campaign pass. If you've been hearing rumors about that going around the internet, that is not actually a thing. This is actually placeholder information because right now Halo Infinite is still pre-beta. A lot of the little details that you catch in these little screenshots, which I can understand that being misleading right here, but saying that like if you read this far into these screenshots, you might be finding information that you think you might find something interesting that's not actually there. As right now, it's still a work in progress with Halo Infinite, and I can see where people were coming to these conclusions. I mean, you put this in a screenshot where you know thousands upon thousands of people are gonna be looking at these pictures and at this blog post, you would think you'd try to like, make sure what you show is actually gonna be in the game in some capacity. Of course, 343 is so busy just trying to put this game together that little things like this can kind of come out and create some confusion. Which then actually kind of leads me into my next thought process or next point I wanna talk about in this video is how XP gains and progression is going to work within Halo Infinite. I feel like it's gonna be very different from what we've seen in previous Halo titles. Because throughout all of Halo's unlocks, besides some things within Halo 3, Halo Reach used a different kind of system, but all other Halos, all their unlocks were based on multiplayer experience. And jumping into these match-made servers to make sure they can track how much XP that you earn within the game. But the thing is with Halo that people play Halo for a lot more than just the multiplayer. You know, people play just the campaign. They might play just Forge or just custom games, not just multiplayer matchmaking games. But those players also deserve a chance to go through the battle pass progression. And if anything, that's a hugely missed opportunity by 343 to not take advantage of those type of players who play Halo. So what I expect to see with Halo Infinite is that probably much like similar to what we had with Halo Reach, but maybe a little bit better payouts in some capacity, is that no matter what you're doing, if you're playing the game, you're progressing towards something. So if you're spending time in Forge or custom games or campaign, you're still earning XP in some kind of ratioed rate, I'm assuming, to where you can still earn your unlocks and play the game however you like, while also progressing through the battle pass, but not feeling like that FOMO kind of experience because you're not that much of a multiplayer fan. I've done the multiple polls on this channel and each time talking about which one are you most excited about, the community on this channel keeps voting for the campaign. People are very excited about the campaign experience, which honestly is surprising to me. And you know, we focus so much on the multiplayer side of things, but campaign I think is what really kind of brings your casual audience in or just brings in your audience for the most part to Halo. And that long-term multiplayer experience is more for your dedicated fans of the franchise. Now there is no word right now that if you buy into Halo Infinite that you receive like a free battle pass or something like that. I personally would like to see something like that happen to get to incentivize players to who are just free to play multiplayer guys who want to play the campaign as well to pay up that 60 bucks so they have a chance to pay so then 343 can try to optimize their player base for you know profitability and payout to make sure that this game could run for the next 10 years as 343 has promised and saying if you spend 60 bucks for the campaign you get the free season one battle pass i think that would encourage a lot of new players into the franchise to buy into this game experience the campaign and get a free battle pass along with that personally that's what i would really like to see or some kind of benefit for those premium players who want to buy the campaign, such as myself, but also will focus a lot on multiplayer. Will we receive anything for financially supporting the game in some capacity? I hope so, but we'll just have to wait and see. If you missed any content from me recently, I got a playlist for all my news and informational videos right there on the screen. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.